must be a kind of blind love. Well, I suppose let's just jump straight into the, I, I mean, the purpose of this AMA, we really want to just have a chat about the technicalities and there's been a few questions about, you know, the process of minting and, you know, a few other little back end things about the project. So let's just jump into all of those and then we can, um, then we can enjoy a beer together or a coffee, depending on where you are in the world and, um, and catch some more up. So. So Dan, I suppose the first question is, could you just have a chat and just talk us through the process of actually preparing a phantom, getting phantom into your MetaMask, connecting to, you know, the phantom opera and, you know, prepare everything you need to do pre mint. Um, if you could just talk us through that just for people who have never minted on phantom before, let's just sort of uh, spell it all out. Yep. Um, so I guess the first step in the process is getting yourself a MetaMask. Um, if you don't know what a MetaMask is, then it's probably worth doing a little bit of research. I'm going to post a link or two, uh, some YouTube tutorials on like what MetaMask is and how it's used. And that will help you understand what, what its purpose is in the whole kind of ecos ecosystem that's going on. Um, but what you want to do is you want to get yourself a MetaMask and you'll get a seed phrase and all that kind of stuff and keep that safe and all that kind of stuff and you get the MetaMask. And then next, you're, you've got that MetaMask and that's your wallet and it's gonna, that's how you kind of can spend money um, in, in the ETH world. Um, so you then want to connect that wallet um, to Spirit Swap or Spooky Swap. And these places are kind of like, a, uh, not an exchange, but it's a place where you can, um, I guess it's a DEX where you can, I think it's a DEX, um, I could be wrong. Please, please correct me if I am wrong, but yeah, essentially you uh, can, um, if you assign your wallet, your MetaMask wallet to one of these um, spooky swap or spirit swap, I've, I'm going to, I'm going to give the, the tutorial for spirit swap on online, but take your pick. Essentially, connecting your wallet there will um, automatically assign it to the Phantom Opera network. If you go through the phases of, if you're using Google Chrome or Brave, these are the two browsers I know that work with MetaMask. Um, so you, I guess take your pick. Um, I will be putting some online content um, so that you can watch if you are uncertain about this, but essentially you will use MetaMask as a extension on Google Chrome and uh, connect it to Spirit Swap or Spooky Swap, and that will establish your connection to the Phantom Opera network. And then from there, you want to kind of send your Phantom. So uh, if you don't have Phantom, um, then you want to kind of you want to uh, get an account with an exchange. And I'm going to run this as a someone from Australia. Um, and the the kind of more popular one. So we have here is like a coin spot or Swiftex. I'll put some links up after the AMA for this kind of stuff. Um, and either one of these is pretty popular, like quite kind of centralized, but you know, it, it will make it easy for you. And and through there, you just upload your dollars and buy Phantom. So um, I guess, yeah, you have the potential to be buying uh, coins that aren't actually Phantom. Um, so Phantom's going to have the kind of abbreviation of FTM um, with the sometimes with a dollar sign in front of it. And it's Phantom spelled with an F-A-N-T-O-M. Um, and that Phantom is a, uh, yeah, kind of a blockchain coin. So make sure it's FTM and Phantom um, when you're searching for it. I think the main thing for any Aussies who are out there like... If you if you're wanting to buy because i mean you know we've had a few people reach out in the discord saying they've had some issues sort of sending phantom to their metamask um and it coming up as sort of other versions of phantom or whatever but um coin spot if you're in australia will allow you to buy the native phantom and then if you send that phantom from coin spot to your metamask wallet um and you don't see it then yeah go to spooky swap bridge your like just connect to connect your wallet to spooky swap it will say switch over from the ethereum mainnet to the phantom opera mainnet 
um, and then it should appear. Um, and yeah, is there, a fee? Is there a fee involved in that? There's not a fee involved. No, like there's no. Well, yeah, okay. I mean, each exchange will ch charge you their own fee if you're if you're going to bridge east from if you've already got like phantom or ethereum or you, you've got anything in your metamask wallet on ethereum mainnet and you go to bridge that there will be ethereum gas fees but if you've basically set up your metamask and you're sending um phantom from an exchange like the exchange will charge you a fee it depends every exchange is different so it'll charge you a fee okay so we are going to drop a mint link in our discord this link will be a direct link to uh, a fresh minting page. Um, it's only going to come from us. No one is going to DM you a link ever, obviously. But you got to say it. But in announcements, in our Discord, we're going to drop a link. Click that link. That's going to take you to a page. There's going to be a mint button. You can mint one Flamingo per transaction. But you can mint as many flamingos as you like. So if you want to mint fucking two flamingos, you just go to go mint, 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 mint. Um, next question. We have just done our whitelist for the Ethereum mint, which is as far as the list is our future utility. Um, we're offering anyone who mints a flamingo on the phantom genesis series which we're minting tonight they will get themselves a free mint on ethereum but it's one per wallet address if you want to be crafty and uh, bend the system then go for it but if you mint five for the same wallet you get one free mint on ethereum if you mint five blah 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 i mean i couldn't be fucked uh government starting equal wallets but if that's what you want to do Go for it but it's one per wallet address um and and that's basically it. uh next formality was then okay i actually know what it was next question um was how does the collection work between phantom and ethereum and the uh bridge coming back as far as utility we've had a few people ask is this part of the same contract address is this all part of that the question to that is thought of because we're minting 777 on phantom the rest are being minted on eth but with the up and coming bridge with any swap with uh the eth phantom bridge how that works is essentially anything that's minted over on ETH, you can bridge back over Phantom. And when it arrives back to Phantom, it's all part of the same collection. So yes, they are all part of the same collection. They're using a bridging contract to be able to bring them back over. Um, that said, you can go both ways. So it's, it's a completely multi-chain thing. Like you can take your, you know, you can go either way, but obviously, um, you know, the, the whole concept is to bring it one with it, you can go both ways. And, um, I think that kind of clears it up. We have been in chats with any swap. This isn't like we're just, you know, we're, this is definitely a thing that we're doing. And it is, it is, we've actually sort of programmed, you know, our devs have really um, written all of our contracts around the utility of this bridge. So we're using that as like a key part of our utility. Um, well, you can't do it yet, and I can't say when it's going to go live. Um, it will go live very soon, and when it is live, you will be able to bridge your flamingos from Earth back to Phantom. And, you know, we will definitely be one of the first projects to do it, so that's pretty cool. Um, Fuck yeah. But, yeah, to answer the question, I think, just really bluntly, that people have, have been asking in the Discord is is yeah will this all be part of the same collection and the answer is yes everything that's minted here on phantom over there on earth and brought back over to phantom is going to be part of the 7777 uh collection so yeah there won't be sort of all, all different collections over multi-chains um 
I mean, that's kind of the whole point of the whole thing is that it is one thing rather than doing, you know, the other approach would be to just do a whole bunch of different mints on different chains. And but yeah, no, the whole purpose of this is they're there. We migrate them back. Is there any kind of pressing stuff that we haven't covered? Or? The only thing we had left was maybe just talk about the Genesis series. Alex, is that right? Anything else you wanted to cover? Can, All right. Hang I mean, on. Just to, can we just, just clarify like exactly what the whitelist means and exactly how the whitelist works over the next that that's going to be happening like over the next you know okay, so six hours? There's two sort of things, right? Like we're not we're not doing a whitelist where you have to submit your wallet for the Genesis series. Um, that is how to get on the whitelist for Earth is by buying a Genesis series piece. Although if you level up, if you're in the lounge access in our Discord. Um, we're going to maybe drop the link a little bit early in there. That's it. Somewhere. Uh, somewhere. somewhere. <laughs> it, might, it might reach somewhere. In the, in the I community. think it's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. So, yeah. In, in which room? Sorry. Uh, one, one of the higher rooms, I guess. Uh, probably. In the, in the lounge access. In the lounge access. And, then, and the way you get into the lounge is all you have to do is invite five people. Oh, back up to Dan with Delangio and you go. Okay, okay, cool. That was that was really cool. Well done. Um, I'm I'm going to talk about the Genesis series now and basically what people yeah. can expect from the artwork. Um, essentially, the Genesis series will aesthetically sit on their own, um, separate from the rest of um all the other flamingos that will get, get minted. That does not mean that they're on a separate contract. They're all start a part of the same collection. Um, but essentially where we first conceived these um, flamingos aesthetically was without a wing. That's where the first original um, flamingo kind of came. And then we added the wing later um, just as to kind of diversify with our, our attributes and, and whatnot. Um, but essentially the Genesis series, you will always be able to visually see what is a Genesis and what is not because the Genesis series is the only series of flamingos that do not have their wing out. They are, they're not trying to show. They're not trying to fucking make up for the, the lack of their personality. They are the proud fucking flamingos, and they stand on their own um, with their with their wing concealed. Um, that as well to add to that, <clears throat> every single one of the Genesis series feature the rare backgrounds only. So basically, in the structure of the backgrounds of the art, which will go to the greater minting or the greater uh, collection. There's, uh, I believe, five different types of background, as in different scenes. Um, these all tie into the narrative somehow, um, but basically the Genesis series will only ever feature the full color backgrounds rather than um, the uh, like the opaque colored kind of versions, um, which you can get in gray, uh, purple, uh, sorry, pink, blue, and yellow. Um, so yeah, basically these ones are kind of in a way they have forced to rare traits, which is rad. So in 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 some way. Um, they all kind of uh, are already a little bit more valuable in some kind of sense. Um, obviously, they, they lack the ability for that second or that extra attribute with the wing. But um, in my personal opinion, and as we all know about NFTs, there's numerical rarity and then there's aesthetic rarity. And um, if you were to ask me as the actual creator of the flamingos, I've always preferred the flamingos without the wing out. Um, so yeah, that's, that's basically, biased. that's biased. <laughs> yeah, probably, but who gives a fuck? Um, so um, does that, I, I, just so I'm clear, that means that the, all of the, uh, all of the ones that come after the Genesis do have the wing out or that's just a possibility that they will. No, all of the ones that come out post Genesis will have a wing. So the, okay. it is, it is only the Genesis series that do not have a wing out. So in, in that sense, you will know clearly who holds. We always wanted that. We wanted people that bought the Genesis to have a visual uh, indication that they were the motherfucking OG owners of these flamingos. They were there from the beginning. Um, you know, it's your, it's your badge that you wear as being like, dude, I jumped on this right at the right time, right at the beginning, and I got myself a Genesis flamingo, you know, and that we found aesthetically that was the best way to kind of go about it. And talk about the background color, Doig, with the, the midnight. And yeah, the so, 
Yeah, so okay, basically what I was describing before, how the Genesis series will only only feature the rare backgrounds. Um, they uh, they're basically colored as you can see, like the branding, which you know, I've I've made very sure is very coherent across pretty much all our our public platforms. But um, all the color scheme, schemes and stuff has, have been very kind of consistent throughout the the rollout of this, um, playing obviously into the narrative. Um, I, I don't know if you know, but uh, basically flamingos migrate at midnight. They choose to do that. Um, the very dead of the night. So that's basically kind of where the concepts of the backgrounds came from. Obviously as well, aesthetically they work better because they're a darker background and a lot of the flamingos that we deal with are very bright. So again, just to break up background and foreground, it, it just it just works better. It makes for a more kind of eye-popping flamingo. Um, but yeah, essentially all the five scenes, which are the, the lake, which we're all hanging out. Most of us, everyone in the, in the discord are hanging out right now in the lake. That is one of the backgrounds. And then, uh, the other background is the desert and the desert becomes before the lake. That's, um, that's where we, the desert that we cross to get to the lake. Um, then we have the rooftop, which is, um, basically anyone who <laughs> knows this story of basically getting you know when you're like fucking, I don't know, you had way too many drugs and you find yourself at like that weird 5, 4.35 a.m. moment where you're kind of like everyone else has passed out at the party and you like find yourself sucking on like a, your 700th cigarette of the night and you're looking at the fucking sunset rising and you think to yourself, what the fuck am I doing in my life? That's that scene. Yeah, um, the rooftop, the, uh, <laughs> the, the morning after the big flamingo party that had happened. And then uh, we go to the yeah, volcano. The volcano is like the Sunday night after the party where everyone goes to the sulfur baths and like, you know, fucking gets their like, maybe sips on a martini or a fucking has a couple of more bumps of pixie dust. And then uh, the final one is the moon because obviously the, um, the end goal for future utility is to build the Pink Flamingo Social Club on the moon. Right, Alex? That's it. <laughs> That's it, dude. Like that. That's it. I think we can lock Obviously, that one as well, in as well. Everyone wants to go to the moon, yeah. so, I mean, if it goes there, and we... <laughs> <laughs> recap, how to, mint, how, to, how to bridge, how to smuggle Pinksy dust. <laughs> That's the main thing. Get arrested on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> go on, then. Go on. <laughs> go on. Yeah, that's it. All right. Well, fuck yeah, guys. I think that's, um, that pretty much sums it up. Um, we'll um, post post mint. We'll uh, we'll get everyone to jump on here. And we'll have a big hangout. We'll just keep doing that, and then we'll reveal some fucking flamingos. You. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's, a that's a question, guys, that I forgot to answer. When will the reveal happen? Um, reveal will be on mint of all triple seven. So, yeah, once literally every one of the 777 Genesis is minted, they will all reveal at the same time. Cool. Hopefully. That's a plan. So I'm going to buy a 20. Nice. I can do that. Yeah. Oh, also, another cool. thing we should put down too is that um, as we are not like uh, saving any of the mint for the developers or anything like that. Uh, we're no, we're not. In, um, yeah, we're joining in on the mint with everyone else, and yeah, yeah, we're, we're going to mint a couple of flamingos to pay to essentially like um, pay back to some of these amazing people who have helped us promote the flamingos. Um, but yeah, we're not we're not like pre-minting fucking two hundred flamingos for our team or anything like that. Like no. We're I will minting, be minting a flamingo minting a that's handful of flamingos <laughs> to a handful of um, very, you know, helpful people who have, you know, like helped us introduce us to people and help us like give us the, the ropes of phantom. I mean, I just want to like summarize here a little bit as well about like our involvement in phantom. Like we're so fucking new to phantom and NFTs and everything in general. And we can't, be more thankful with this sort of warm embrace we've got from the fans and community and you know we're putting all of our ideas out there we really want people to um yeah thanks for your guidance and we want to continue that way and like 
we want to shape this project around like what the community wants and especially around future utility like let's keep these convos going and let's grow this project together because we're not we're not here for a fucking cash grab we're here for the long term and let's smoke some fucking weed with bush doctor <laughs> I can't see with where we can take the flingos um yeah. But yeah, this is step one. Step one of three, I yeah. suppose. Yeah, I just want to add to that. I just want to add to yeah. that as well. Um, we're just, um, just so everyone realizes and knows, like, we're, um, we are we are a crew that has has been busting balls and doing creative shit for many years. We're a team that has been muscled out over many failures in uh, the wrong industries, mainly being a band. Um so yeah, like just remember that this is like this is our first project, and we couldn't have never have imagined for it to be as successful as it has been. It's just fucking epic that it's been taken. It's taken flight, um, no pun intended. Um, but yeah, we just don't. There's so many more projects to come. There's the projects that we're we're walking on, um, we're working on. So yeah, just kind of keep 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 engaged in the in the flamingo cr- club and and there'll be a plethora of other shit that kind of we all kind of migrate over to and just making cool shit that's what we do and that's what we're going to keep doing fucking hey all right guys i reckon that brings our ama to a close thanks everyone for listening um like i said i'm going to get this up on youtube as soon as possible um just for anyone who missed it and otherwise anyone who's got the info and stuff from the ama just make sure you do your your community your service and anyone that's asking questions in the lake um, do everyone a favor and just kind of jump in for us and, and, and keep everyone updated with how, how to go about things. Everyone's help at this stage is fucking awesome. And then, uh, yeah, let's mint some fucking flamingos. Be more Flaminting. Question. All right, legends. Catch you later. Soon, eh? Fucking A. Okay. Yeah, See you in a few hours. Eight hours, six hours, whatever it is. Catch up. Ciao.